So in the previous video we have seen the differences between melee and more finite state machines. So in this video we will see an example of finite state machine circuit. Then we will look at state tables and state diagram. Let's see one finite state machine example. So I will be giving you this circuit. So we will have two D flip flops and I will call this Y. This is my X input. So we have this AND gate here and this is my Q1 T. So this is my D. This is my Q0 T. This is my Q1 T. So this is D. And I have clock here. So this is my clock input. And I have another gate here which is an OR gate. So I will have Q0 T here. So this is an example of a finite state machine. Okay. So let's see what we have here. So this is our input. So we have a one bit input, right? So this is Y is our output. So this portion is my output logic, right? And this portion is my next state logic. So these two, this is my next state, okay? And these two, Q1 T and Q0 T represent my present state. And these are my flip flops, right? Two flip flops for my memory, which keeps my present state. So what is the type of this finite state machine? This is a melee finite state machine because input affects both our state and our output directly. Right? So if I didn't have this line here, then this will be a more finite state machine. Since the input also goes to this output logic due to this line, right? This is called a melee finite state machine. Okay, so let's try to write functions. So in this finite state machine, what is our output logic? So our yt is x and we can also say xt, right? Because now we have clock and we have a t variable that represents each clock cycle. xt, q0t and q1t, right? This is our output logic and we have our state equation. So what is q0? t plus 1. So this is my next state logic. Okay. So what will be my next state? For Q0, this is Q1, T and XT. What is the next state logic for Q1? It is Q0, T and XT. So these are my next state equations. So this is output. So this is my next state logic or my next state equations. So we have written these equations by just looking at our schematic. So in this finite state machines, we have also state tables. To describe our operation, we can have a schematic or we can also describe our finite state machine using this state table. Okay. So what will be in this state table? We will have a present state. So for present state, I have this Q1 T and Q0 T. And then I will have my next state. Okay. I can examine this next state depending on my input. If my input X is 1, then I can find out my Q1 T plus 1. Also, I can find Q0 T plus 1. So this is for the case of X is equal to 1. Also, it is possible for my input to be 0. Then in that case, what will be my Q1 T plus 1? Q0 T plus 1. And the last thing I can put onto my state table is my Y or the output, right? So this is for X equal to 0 and X equal to 1. So how many state I can have for my present state? Since I have only two flip flops, I could have four different states here in this circuit. So the first state could be 0, 0 or it could be 0, 1 or 1, 0 and one one. So this is the four possible states for my finite state machine. And I can call this state S0, S1, S2, and S3 state. Right? So if my present state is 0, 0, and if my input is 1, what is my next state? Where can I find this? I can just look at the schematic, or I can just look at my next state logic equations, right? So let's do this. So let's find Q1, right? Q0 is 0 and x is 1. What is q1? t plus 1? It is 0. Right? What is q0? 
So to find Q0, I need to look at this equation, right? So in this equation, x is 1. So I am looking at for this case, right? For S0. So this is my case. So Q1, T is 0 and x is 1. And the next state of Q0 is 0 and 1. It is 0 here. We did a mistake in Q1 equation. So this needs to be an OR gate here. And then we need to have 0 plus 1 for Q1. I will have a 1 here. Okay. So let's look at S1 case. So this case. For S1, let's find Q0 T plus 1. So Q1 T is in this case. It is 0 and X is 1. So the next state of Q0 is 0. For Q1, Q0 is 1. Right. So it is 1 here. And X is 1. So Q1 is 1. Right. So we have found the next state of Q1 and Q0 for the case of x is equal to 1 and for our present state of S1. Let's look at the case if my present state is S2. Okay, so in this case Q1 t is 1 and x is 1, right? 1 and 1, Q0 t plus 1 is 1 and Q0 here is 0 and x is 1, Q1 t plus 1 is 1. Right. And finally, let's do the S3. So in S3, let's find Q0 T plus 1. So X is 1. Q1 is 1. So next state of Q0 is 1. So Q0 T is 1. X is 1. The so next state of Q1 is 1. Right. So we have finished the next state for X is equal to 1. Let's fill out the case of x is 0. From this equation, if x is 0, q0 t plus 1 is always 0, right? So this will be 0, 0, 0. So here for q1 t plus 1, x t is 0. So q1 t plus 1 will be equal to q0 t, which is 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So I just copied this column to here because the equation tells me Q1 T plus 1 is equal to Q0 T when XT is 0. Okay, so let's do the output logic. So output logic is given here, right? So this is depends on XT and Q0 T and Q1 T. So if the X is 0, my output will be 0 here. If X is 1, it will be equal to Q0 T and Q1 T. So it will be 0 here, 0 here, 0 here and 1 here. Right. So this is our state table for this schematic example. Okay. So finite state machines, we can represent them using a schematic or we can give equations for our finite state machines output logic and next state logic or we can represent the operation using a state table right these are different ways of describing the same finite state machine so there is one more way to describe our finite state machine and it is called state diagram okay we have state table and we have also state diagram so this state diagram is a pictural way of describing the state table so instead of state table we describe our operations using a diagram, right? For this, what we do, we first draw our states. So we say, this is my S0, which is 0, 0, okay? And I have my S1 state, this is 0, 1. I have my S2 state, which is 1, 0. And I have S3 state, which is 1, 1. So I look at the state table if I am in S0 state and if the input is 1 then I go to 1 0 state okay here if the input is 1 I go to S2 state so this is my new state which is S2 right so this is what will I do if I am in S0 state if the input is 1 I go to S2 state if I am in S0 what is my output if the x is 1 it is zero so i will say y is zero so i am telling in this diagram if the input is one i will go to from s0 to s2 and my output will be zero right then if i am in s0 state if the input is zero so this is the case right if the input is zero my next state is zero zero so 
Then my next state is again S0. So I start from S0 and I go to S0. Right, so this is x is equal to 0. And my output will be 0, right? Because I see it from here. Okay, now we finished S0, right? Because I have one input. And that input could be 0 or 1. Right, now I go to state 1. If I am in state 1, so I am here, right? If the input is 1, I go to state 1 0 which is s2 so it is like this if the input is 1 i start from s1 and i go to s2 and my output is 0 right so this is 0 and if the input is 0 then i again go to 1 0 which is the same thing and also my output is 0 so I can change this if the x is 0 or x is 1. If I am in S1, I will go to S2 and my output will be 0 in both cases, right? Okay, now let's look at the S2 case, right? This case in S2, if my input is 1, my next state is 1, 1, which is S3. So in S2, I go to S3 if my input is 1 and my output will be 0, right? So if I am in S2, if the input is 0, then my next state is 0, 0. So then I will go to S0 if my input is 0 and my output will be 0 because here it is 0, right? And then we can go to the S3. So in the S3 state, if the input is 1, my next state is S3. Is S3. If the input is 1, my next state is S3 and my output is one right so this is the only case my output is one so i will just say y equal to one and if the x is zero then my next state is one zero which is s2 right so this will go to s2 if x is zero and my output will be zero because it is zero here right so this is our state diagram it just describes the state transitions based on the input signal and it shows us what are the outputs